Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John. So today is going to be my first collection update of uh, 2022. These are all the CDs I have uh, bought in the past uh, couple weeks, that is. And um, anyway, let me get into it. I have about uh, nine or ten CDs, so let me just jump right into it. First one, uh, Dark Side of the Moon. Now, I've had this uh, you know, many years ago when I was younger, but it's been a while since I did have it in, in the collection. So, of course, I decided to pick it up. This is, uh, I guess, one of the uh, more recent uh, versions. I think it came out in like 2011. So, this is the, you know, definitely essential album. I am trying to like rebuild my Pink Floyd collection. Next, uh, Man of War, three albums. Let me uh, take these out. Okay, starting with uh, Fighting the World. I think this one came out like around 1987, I believe. This one's a decent album. I, I mean, uh, there's a couple of good songs I like. Uh, Blow You Speakers, Black Wind Fire and Steel is my favorite. Um, this one's good. I mean, uh, not their best, but the one after this is the one I like a lot, which would be uh, Kings of Metal. Now, this album I had when I was, uh, it came out in 1988, so I bought it when I was 17 years old and... I really love this album, and just listening to it again after you know a while uh, just brought back lots of memories. So this is definitely one that I, you know, wanted to rebuy because I did lose my CD, uh, you know, over the years. Awesome songs: uh, "Wheels of Fire," "Kings of Metal," uh, "Heart of Steel." That's a power ballad. "The Crown and the Ring" is pretty cool. It's kind of like a semi ballad. "Kingdom Come." There's like the an extra track called Pleasure Slave. Um, you can figure out what that's all about. And um, Hail and Kill. Then there's The Warrior's Prayer. That's the one I skip over because it's just like some guy like reading a story to a kid. And uh, Blood of the Kings, awesome closing track. So this is uh, my favorite Man of War album. And uh, the box set also came with this one from 1992. This one I actually never bought. Now, this one's kind of long, because, like, the first track is 28 minutes. It's, like, this uh, this long, epic... Uh, they want to do something that's kind of like, you know, like what Rush used to do with their prog ep epics, but I think with Man of War, it didn't really work. That's just my opinion. But other, uh, you know, tracks afterwards, uh, Metal Warriors, Ride the Dragon, The Power of Thy Sword, so pretty decent album. Next is Bloodbound, a Swedish uh, power metal band. Now... <clears throat> I remember uh, the, the, the Fireburns Within channel was talking about this uh, last year when they released an album. This is the one that came out prior to that, I believe 2019. Now, this was a good price. This is probably the reason why I actually grabbed it. But um, it's a brand new uh, CD. It comes with a CD and a live DVD, which I didn't get a chance to watch yet. So pretty cool. It's that type of power metal that, you know, uses like the keyboards and that like, uh, I guess, European style of power metal. So it has the fantasy lyrics, talking about dragons and things like that. Not a bad album. Next is Striper with uh, what's called Even the Devil Believes. This one came out in late 2020. This was actually like my first album review ever on my channel. And anyway, this is an awesome album. So if you know Striper, back in the 80s, um, they did a lot of um, like hair metal. That that was their sound, but now Striper has like reformed and they have a new sound. They're a lot heavier. They're more along the lines of like Judas Priest. So this is an awesome album. Lots of uh, awesome songs. I uh, like um, you know the title track. Even the devil believes. Divider. I love that one. Has that's really heavy. It almost goes to like a Metallica territory. This I pray. You know Christian metal, but awesome. Speaking of Striper, um, out of the 80s stuff, this is my favorite album, To Hell With The Devil. And I did a review of this last year. Um, this one has great songs, uh, Cola and You, Free, The Way, some ballads like Honestly and All Of Me. This is their best of their 80s albums, in my opinion. Like I said before, the, the 80s stuff is more like hair metal. But this one is their best. Pretty cool. Uh, let me take this out. I mean, I like the package and the CD actually kind of like looks like a record. So this is definitely um, my, one of my favorites of the uh, old period. Definitely. Next, I have uh, some 90s stuff. So I have Pearl Jam with uh, Yield. 
So this one came out, I believe, around 98. I might be wrong. That's some good songs we got. We have uh, Given to Fly. That's kind of like a ballad. Do the Evolution. That's kind of like a faster, almost like a punk rock type of song. And uh, Low Light. I, I like that one a lot. And pretty decent album from the 90s period. So not their best, but it's a good album. Next, I have uh, Pearl Jam again with their debut, 10. Another CD I owned uh, years ago, but it did get lost over the years. So I did a review of this when I did a celebrated anniversary. And I'm kind of glad I got it again because something I did want to uh, own. It has the uh, fold out. So the CD folds out into a poster like that. So and then on the back, that's all the writing and stuff. So. This was uh, cool, something I just wanted to own again. Next is uh, Amorphous, with uh, the name of this album is called Under the Red Cloud. This one came out, I think, uh, around 2015, I believe. Now, they were just released a new album called Halo, which is pretty good. My I did a review of it. I didn't really give it a great review at first, but I think it is starting to grow on me. But this is also a good album in that same style. And... Uh, it also comes with uh, came with two DVD. Uh, came with a, a live CD as well. I listened to this about twice already, and um, it started to grow on me again. This is um, Amorphous doing their like more modern stuff and pretty cool album. And to end out this video, I have the latest uh, album by At the Gates, which came out last year, called The Nightmare of Being. If you watch my top 10 death metal uh, albums of the year, this was uh, ranked fairly high, I believe two or three on my list. And um, another pretty cool, it has a, a live DVD, CD, I'm sorry. And it has the album and then, then there's the book inside there. So, you know, definitely one I didn't want to get, but I did pick it up eventually. So. That is it. That's my final of my uh, collection update. So uh, thanks for watching. Up next, um, I just realized that um, Scorpion's Lonesome Crow is celebrating uh, 50 years. And you know, I didn't realize it at first, but uh, the Scorpion's Rock Believer album was released around the same time as like the 50th anniversary of that. The first album from 1972. So I'm going to do a quick review of that for tomorrow. And then we'll get into the weekend with all of the new releases. So... That is all. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll uh, see you all in the next one.